Hey, what's happening, guys? It's Nagpal well for Ike Android Inn, and today we are checking out the new Zolo Win Q900s. Now, this is one of the first Windows phones from Indian manufacturers. Uh, Micromax did tease their phones a couple of, I guess, weeks and months back, and it's expected to launch really soon. Uh, the first one that is available in the market right now. So, uh, fairly Zolo sort of box over here, so Zolo branding all over the place. Uh, but you do get some specifications on the back, so it does have a Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, 4.7 inch display, one gigabyte of RAM, etc., etc., which I'm going to show you in uh, just a minute. But one of the cool things is that it's running the latest version of Windows, which is 8.1. And uh, pricing on this is uh, uh, slightly different than is on the box. So you get about a 12,000 price on the box, but it's available for under 10, I believe, in the market. So let's go ahead and unbox it and see what all is inside the box. Slightly difficult box to get open, uh, but once I do that, the first thing inside the box is. And again, so this is the Q900S. I'm gonna put it to the side for the time being. It seems like a really slim phone right out of the box. You also get a really nice uh, flip case uh, for the device, which is really good. You don't uh, get to see uh, these cases uh, a lot nowadays. It's a leatherish case. I hope it's not really leather, uh, but it, it has a really nice stitch and a good quality finish onto it. It also replaces the back panel, so it won't uh, sort of be very bulky on the device. Let's go further in. So you get a USB cable, a wall charger, the 1800 milliamp hour battery, quick start guide and legal information. and you get some earphones. So that's everything from the box. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the device itself. So it's a really, really nice looking device over here. First impression out of the box, really impressed. It's really slim as well, uh, as you guys can see over here. Feels really nice in the hand. It's fairly lightweight, even without the battery. And when I do pop in the battery over here, you can see that you have your two SIM card slots and you do have a micro SD card slot over here. Another good thing is that the device does come loaded with a screen protector. So they've pre-installed a screen protector onto the device for the ease of use. And you simply need to remove uh, the peel on top of it, but the screen protector remains. So that's great. One great feature I feel that they've done. The device is really, really slim. Feels really nice in the hand. The back panel has got this soft touch sort of finish uh, that really feels really nice in the hand. Okay, so let's power this on and while it powers on, let's talk quickly about the specifications. So in the front over here, you have a two megapixel front facing camera. You have the earpiece. And if you talk about the display, it's a 4.7 inch display. It does have a 1280 by 720p display. That makes it uh, 312 pixels per inch in terms of uh, the PPI, which is fantastic. So just below uh, the display are uh, the three touch capacitive buttons for Windows. Uh, there is a back button, a center button, and a menu button which is nice. The display does have a Asahi Dragon Trail glass, which is great. On the bottom edge is the main microphone and on the right side is the power button. On the top is the micro USB charging data syncing port along with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And on the left is the volume rocker. On the back of the device is a main eight megapixel camera. It is called a pure cell uh, sensor camera. So uh, they have that technology in there and you also have a LED flashlight, you have the Zolo logo over here and the speakerphone at the bottom. If you talk about the inside, you have one gigabyte of RAM and eight gigabyte of storage. You can put in a 32 gigabyte SD card. You get Adreno 302 graphics, which are at 400 megahertz. And like I said before, you do have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 200 processor, uh, which is at 1.2 gigahertz on quad cores. So there you can see the Windows 8.1 interface. It is one of the fastest uh, user experiences that we have seen in quite a while. And uh, the device has a really nice display. You can see the levels of black on this is really nice. Uh, of course, you can customize uh, the user interface as per your requirements. Uh, Windows 8.1 offers a lot of customizations. Uh, you can get full-sized uh, tiles, half-sized, or even one-fourth size. Uh, which go almost to the end. Uh, so you can really customize the user experience according to your requirements. You can customize the colors, etc. You can also hold down on icons and make them larger. And then basically you can lay out uh, the user interface as per your requirements. Now if you go into settings real quick, 
you'll be able to see that this is Windows Phone 8.1 which is excellent and it works really well the fact that it is Windows Phone 8.1 another thing that I can't see is the fact that uh, buttons are backlit or not so I'm gonna see if I can get well I just checked the buttons are backlit I probably can't show it to you uh, in uh, the video but the buttons are backlit which is nice uh, now coming in uh, to the user experience uh, like Windows 8.1 offers a lot of customization you also get a voice assistant Cortana but then you have to have a US account and not an Indian account which uh, may work for some people the keyboard on this is really fantastic and if you go into a quick thread uh, this is one of the best keyboards uh, that you can get today predictive text is really good and uh, the keyboard works really well and of course uh, you do have uh, the app store uh, over here which will allow you to download bunch of applications for uh, particularly for Windows Phone so if you want to do that you can go into the marketplace and uh, download uh, all the applications that you need for the time being you can see it's updating Facebook on its own over here you do have an FM radio on other device as well uh, probably need headphones uh, to get the signal I'm going to jump into the Internet Explorer using recommended settings I'm going to jump over to iGAN.in so you can see that uh, the browser is really fast responsive you can pinch in you get really nice uh, high quality text over here uh, you can also switch from portrait to landscape uh, really smooth fluid motions over there uh, text really crisp images are also really crisp so the display itself is really nice you have excellent viewing angles um, a really sim slim profile on the device and it feels really good in the hand it's really fast and responsive no issues using the device as far as uh, we are concerned I'm gonna quickly pop open the camera as well and uh, see how that looks on uh, this device that's the camera application uh, quickly snap a picture if you want to do that you get your settings over here so you can go into photo settings 8 megapixel and if I go into video settings real quick you can choose a maximum of 864 by 480 video again that is a disappointment for me this is a sample picture that we just clicked so you can swipe left to go into that you can also choose a bunch of scene modes over here you can also download lenses that uh, Windows Phone has been talking about for quite some time. So we're also going to quickly attach this cover while we are at it and see what the flip case looks like. So just a standard flip case, nothing special over there, but really nice finish on the case. Um, the Zolo logo at the back, you get a cutout for the speaker, cutout for the camera and LED flash, uh, direct access to the power button, volume rockers over here, and uh, they've made a four volume rocker on the cover as well so that you know where your volume rocker is and you have direct access into your 3.5mm uh, headphone jack as well as your charging port so really nice flip case uh, does not add a lot of bulk and uh, will give you a slim profile device really nice there you go guys this was a quick look at the Zolo Win Q900S of course uh, this device is really customizable and we'll come back with a full review to tell you uh, whether or not this device makes sense as a Windows Phone product versus a bunch of Nokia devices and also we're going to compare it to uh, Micromax's uh, Windows Phone that was launched recently to see how it stands up against that. If you have any questions or queries or any special requests for the review or leave them in the comment section below and we'll try and sort of work it out for you guys and we'll try and include that into uh, the final review. Be sure to check out iGAN.in for your daily dose of tech. Catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash iGAN, youtube.com slash iGAN TV for iGAN Networks. This has been Bharat Nagpal checking out the new Zolo Vin Q900S. I'll see you in the next one.